Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you notify every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, today I want to speak on something very interesting when it comes to Yo Gotti and addressing the crowd during his performance at 42 Doug's Detroit concert. Now, most people are saying he's addressing the situation with his brother Big Jook, who recently lost his life in Memphis after attending a funeral for his uncle slash Memphis kingpin, Eric Bovin. Now, as many theories in regards to what actually happened, some people pointing fingers at Paper Route Empire, of course, but just as much as people are pointing fingers at PRE, people are also saying that it was an in-house job and states that Big Jook was set up by someone close, for many reasons. But the main one being that he was very much connected to Young Dolph's demise and even had a relationship with some of the suspects. However, it's being rumored that Big Jook was allegedly set up so he could be the full guy in the situation and all the heat would be off Yo Gotti and CMG as a whole. Whatever you believe is your preference, but today I want to speak on Yo Gotti's recent statement to the crowd as he performed at 42 Doug's concert in Detroit and also talk about him wearing a bulletproof vest allegedly. Now, for YouTube's sake, we can't actually play the video because it has copyrighted music in there. So I'll just tell you what he said. And if you want to watch the actual video, I'll leave a link to it pinned in the comments because we posted it on our official Instagram page. So y'all can check it out there. Before we get into it, hit that thumbs up button so we can get this video into the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you do so now. Now, during Yo Gotti's performance, before the song played, he addressed the crowd and had something to say. He wore a bulletproof vest, as some people say, and people who captured the moment felt he was speaking to the allegations and theories behind his big brother Juke's death. Here's what he had to say. I know I told y'all I wasn't going to play it, but I figure if I slow it down, then hopefully it'll take away from the actual sound so it could go undetected for copyright purposes. But if you didn't catch what he said, Yo Gotti would say, quote, I represent real dope boys, real street dudes all around the world. We don't fold. We never been. We never tell. Now, he said a few things other than that that I couldn't really make out, but we're just going to react to what we was able to clarify, right? Now, also, people are saying that he had a bulletproof vest on, but honestly, I don't feel like he actually did. Um, he just looks like he got a belly. <laughs> you know, probably too much eating because if he had a bulletproof vest on, he'll look a little more boxy and you'll be able to tell because his chest will also protrude through the shirt, making it a little more obvious. And don't ask me how I know. I guess I've seen one too many detectives throughout my life. <laughs> but um, however, here's what one commenter had to say. He would say, quote, you are the energy that you keep. He just lost his brother and the first thing comes out of his mouth is real dope boys real street n-words etc a made a play in 20 years i bet you he put his kids in private school now once i seen that comment i automatically liked it because once i seen the video and heard what god he had to say myself that's exactly the first thing that came to my mind the first thing you say addressing the crowd after you just lost your brother is real street this and real dope boys that honestly just losing your brother or any family member of that sort what are you doing performing you know, now, I know everyone grieves differently, but let's be real. Gotti ain't need that money from his own artist for performing, especially when he just lost his brother. Now, I don't know if he was even paid in the first place, but however it goes, making a statement like that isn't helping anything either. And honestly, this is what keeps the cycle of destruction going, because instead of putting something positive out there, because I know he knows the world got eyes on him right now, instead he rather talk about, you know, being a real street dude and real dope boy this, None of that matters, right? You literally just lost a brother. But once again, the kids coming up see that and feels that this is the way to be. This is the way to carry yourself and nothing's cool about that. 
And to be honest with you, it's nothing street about losing a family member to the streets. Especially when it's theories flowing around where people feel that you yourself was the actual target, but they settle for your brother instead. Or when people feel that some way, somehow, you are actually associated with your own brother's demise. Now, I don't know, but like I said, I found this interesting because most people were waiting for Gotti to respond about everything that went down. And to be honest, I felt we wasn't going to see him for a long time because he's just going to stay quiet and lay low. But I guess not. Now, another interesting thing about this is Big Jook's funeral. Now, I'm unsure where Jook's funeral would take place. I would assume that they would want to bury him where he's from, which is Memphis. But doing so would cause a lot of concerns. Not only for the family now, but Yo Gotti as well. And like I said it before, everyone's watching. You know, and he has a target on his back, especially in Memphis. So the number one question is, is he going to attend the funeral if it's in Memphis? Now, if he does, is he going to go with a bunch of security, which I would feel would be in his best interest if he does decide to attend the funeral and it's in Memphis. But just period, whether it's in Memphis, Canada, no matter where you at, man, wherever he goes, especially at this point with the height of everything going on, I think it'll be best in his interest to actually keep security. You know, I know it's not the hood thing. It's not the rapper thing. It's not the gangster thing to do. However, I mean, you got to be smart. Right. However it goes, they're going to have to keep the details in regards to this funeral and everything associated with it very, very secret. I don't know if y'all caught the very first video we did covering Juke's death, but we pointed out that there's a possibility that the suspects may have knew of where Juke was going to be due to an online obituary that was made of Eric Bovin's funeral. Now, one thing about them online obituaries, they're going to tell you who, what, where, when and why. Literally. So if you know how close Juk was to Eric, who he called his uncle, then you knew for sure that he was going to attend that funeral. So with that being said, that would be the easiest way to find him. If you was looking for him, you would just have to wait and pick the right time to strike. Simple as that. And I'm not sure if that's actually what happened, but I'm just telling you the potential possibilities of what could have occurred and what may occur and why an online obituary would be very detrimental in Juk's funeral. Now, I scoured online to see if I could find one, and I haven't found one yet, which is good, and I hope they keep it that way. However, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens, but the number one question right now, like I said, is will Gotti attend Juke's funeral, right? And if he does, would he have a bunch of security with him, as he should? Or, you know, is he going to take the tough, you know, egotistical, prideful route and just have one or two guys or just have nobody? Who knows? But like I said, I hope he has security. Now, the crazy part is, whichever way it goes, y'all know if he doesn't, you know, attend the funeral, people are really <laughs> going to accuse him of having something to do with his own brother's demise. Y'all know right now, everybody's already accusing him of having something to do with it. So if he doesn't show up to the funeral, it is going to look a little, you know, people are going to completely disregard the fact that his safety concerns. But, you know, going to a brother's funeral against your own safety or, but I don't, I don't know. Like I said, it's a very sticky situation because of course you would want to attend your own brother's funeral but once again you see how your brother just went out and it's like eh you know i don't know i guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens y'all um on another note y'all let me know what y'all think about yo Gotti addressing the crowd and what he said and what's your take on it. don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content and remember as long as you keep on watching i'm gonna keep on dropping and i'm out